It doesn't get much better than knowing that because I came and I spent an hour of my day at a middle school, this young lady was able to help save her friend's life. The National Alliance on Mental Illness is an organization that has many affiliates across the country, including one in Northern Virginia. President and CEO Jean Camo and the rest of NAMI Northern Virginia are focused on spreading mental health awareness and providing opportunities to assist families and individuals struggling with mental health. Tsunami is a wonderful group of people who really um, provide a lot of support to other people who understand what it's like to either live with a mental health condition, um, be the family member of someone, or um, you know somebody in the community who cares about people who live with mental health conditions. NAMI Northern Virginia provides many programs that affect youth, including Youth Fest. Youth Fest theme for the winter quarter was summer fun in February. Kristen Marks is the program director at NAMI Northern Virginia and a big part of Youth Fest. The Youth Fest program, which we offer um, quarterly, uh, four times a year, for um, teens, young adults, and families to come together and help um, start a conversation about mental health, learn about programs available, and just connect and have fun. Liz Norton is the senior systems manager at NAMI and has seen and participated in the support that NAMI provides for young adults. At NAMI and in other organizations, there are a lot of other people who've been through similar situations who are there who are willing to, you know, help when you're having a hard time. Kristen Marks explains why she became involved with NAMI and Youth Fest. It, I wanted to be a part of the conversation that helped, you know, eliminate stigma and make this a more common conversation in our communities so that people wouldn't feel alone and they would know that there's support out there. Zane Morehouse is one of the young adults who attended Youth Fest and describes his experience. And I'm done with those marshmallows, I was like, okay, I guess I can play with this. And then as I'm doing that and I'm hearing how it's kind of relaxing the mood, I thought I did not think, I don't want to say I didn't think it would work, right? But it was just like, whoa, okay, people are actually sharing these things in a way that I don't think they would have if, you know, we didn't have another way to make them feel comfortable. Kristen Marks explains how stigma surrounding mental health affects people who are struggling. It can be tough for, you know, our teens, young adults, and families to hear, you know, mental health be tied to violence in the media um, because the truth is that, you know, people living with a mental health condition are far more likely to be victims of a, um, of a violent crime than to actually, you know, do commit a violent crime. And so um, it's challenging to hear that, but I think that it inspires our teens, our young adults, our families to share their positive stories, their hopeful stories in order to, um, you know, have a different conversation about mental health and, um, you know, show the world and show our community that it's possible to live well with a mental health condition and um, that there's hope out there.